Previously on Hot Brutus Fritus! She, she locked it. She locked me outside. Oh, that's an accident. Sure it was. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> Had to go dig it for the spare key. Uh, no, we were at the wedding. Your head is abnormally large. We've seen the other Norowskis. <laughs> <laughs> As you step around the corner and cast Detect Magic into the room, a shockwave of magical energies bounce back out of the room. And you're, you find yourself back in hell, basically. The gods choose who the gods want to choose. There's no need to force the gods' hands. And she goes, anything to give my son an edge as she plunges a knife into her own belly. I just realized, but all the, the villains I had were saved to the laptop. So, uh... Thanks yeah, for our initiative, but we're going to rock into this combat next episode. Uh, come <laughs> on. Oh. Oh. Kind of a chonker. Yeah, I mean, once you <laughs> see a dog, you see Oh, a dog. look at that. That's the look. <laughs> That's the logo. That's the opening, right? We're in the episode now. Whenever I do that to him, there's no food involved. I, I hit record specifically because you're going to show your dog. I didn't know it was going to be the uh, the butthole side. <laughs> right now, a nice show. Only the best for homebrew to try this. Yeah. <laughs> Buttholes and crotches. Hmm. That's right. I didn't have any salt to rhyme this uh, salty dog with. Um, what a weird thing to follow up after a dog's butthole to talk about the rim. Well, you know, I, the MSG I used is not working. <laughs> MSG. MSG cocktails. <laughs> Are we recording? I don't really know. Fuck. What I'm looking for. I hope so. It's really fun listening to Mahogany. <laughs> Let's all just be quiet and listen to her problems. Yeah, just for that, I'm muting. <laughs> so we'll go hey. from from uh, Luke's butthole to her saying that, and then we'll then we'll start the show. What you're gonna leave oh, out yeah. my salty yeah. dog? That's a good plan. Yeah, yeah you're gonna leave gonna... out your salty dog because it's a lot of you going. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I think you think people like to hear that, and maybe they do. Hey, I'm I'm trying to tap into a new audience, okay? Perverts are <laughs> like hearing other people smack. I don't think perverts are a new audience for us, though. <laughs> smack is whack, yo. They're not. Just because we watch our own videos, that doesn't count. <laughs> I mean, I I know I at least count for three perverts. The, uh, by volume yeah. alone. Yeah. No, just and, by <laughs> choice. And number of states you're not allowed to come back to. <laughs> uh, I have never. Hang on, how do I put this? I've never broken a law that I got caught for that has caused me to be banned from a state. That is but so cool. Walmart, <laughs> yes. I uh, loved Dragon Ball Z when I was younger. And then just recently I got nostalgic and started watching Dragon Ball Super. It's rough, uh, isn't it? No, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I just... I know we joke about the, the the previously on and then the the outro. Those episodes are like twenty three minutes long, and there's really about fifteen minutes mm -hmm. actual or content. less of actual content. Yeah. <laughs> so I find myself skipping a lot of of it every episode, but there's these these little glimmers of like, oh, that was really entertaining. <laughs> oh, this is an episode where they eat food with a weird god of destruction i don't this isn't i don't like this <laughs> oh okay now they're beating the shit out of each other and like the animations come a long way like it looks oh. like when you go back and watch the old ones your you know your nostalgia brain makes it look better than what it really is the new ones are really fucking crisp now you can see his nipples and the old one all he gave him was a circle now yeah, the new that. one that's actually got a nipple I'm that's not where that's not okay yeah sure sure nipples yeah let's go with that <laughs> kevin's solving his problems the old-fashioned way <laughs> yep 
<laughs> wired earbuds and uh tobacco one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> if your background wasn't a house, I would assume you were homeless. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. If I only had some virtual backgrounds and a white screen. So, Toker, how excited are you for Kong versus Godzilla? How did you know I wanted to talk about that? When don't you want to talk about yeah, you've been talking Kong about about a versus week. Godzilla? I'm so fucking excited. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to out myself here. A little I'm, bit. I'm not okay. the only Godzilla fan in in the room by far. Uh, no, but I'm still on Team Kong. I'm Team Godzilla all the way. Team Kong, as you should be. Monkey, that's because you're a traitor to America. Monkey love, lizard don't love. Oh, lizard loves. <laughs> no, Liz monkey lizard loves. loves. It depends on which Toho era you're in. <laughs> honestly, but, um, so it's coming out on HBO, which means I can watch it at my house. But it's a Godzilla movie, so I'm also going to watch it in the theater. Yeah. I'm also going to illegally record it while it's on HBO so I can watch it more and more after it's gone. That makes sense. And the only reason I'm saying that publicly is because I will also buy it when it comes out. <laughs> you just don't want to have that well, lull. The, yeah, I don't want the, the lull. I get you. I think <laughs> as long as you don't intend to sell or share your copy of it you are allowed to record and keep it for your own personal use that yeah, but is I'm, completely I'm not legal. allowed to record it off hbo <laughs> that's weird <laughs> using screen grabs on my computer and and that's you know i mean i'm not yeah. gonna i feel like there was probably a big court battle about this when vcrs came around yeah, well, it was a big thing if you weren't if you weren't uh you you're it was a backup you could make a backup copy of something you'd purchased and uh, that 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 got ruled against. I don't remember when, but that yeah. But I know some it's of like anybody's gonna come beating down your door. No. Unless you just go ahead and admit to it on something, and then put and it I, out there for everyone to see. This is also yeah. a comedy show, so we can say what the fuck we want, and it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all in I'm Minecraft. Not, I'm, not, I'm not joking, but I'm still gonna give them. I'm gonna give them money three times for one movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying for funny. HBO. I am going to the theater and I am going to buy the copy when it comes out through their company so I can get all the special effects. Are They're only going to. Well, I have, I have a question for you. How familiar are you with the Kong side of it? We all know you love Godzilla, but. I've seen all the King Kong movies. Because um, eh. they were saying what they've shown on the effects of this one, how much they've grown Kong. Like, he's yeah. become oh, even yeah. larger. Super massive now. <laughs> well, they made it a point in the the one, the, the Skull Island movie was based in, what, 1970? 70-something. 70 70-something, 70 yeah. that he was still young and growing. They say that in the movie. So now he's had, like, 40 years, or almost mm -hmm. 50 years of more growth. Um... I think, up, bro. I think Kong should be a little smaller than Godzilla. That doesn't mean they can't duke it out. No, oh, yeah, no, he's got yeah, dexterity. No. He's got hands. And yeah. and gorillas have the strength of ten men, and Godzilla has the strength of what, like a hundred iguanas? Yeah, but he has a. <laughs> I am considered a man, so I don't know which ten men they're going after <laughs> when they're making that comparison. Oh, oh, me. <laughs> They have I'm, the power I'm, of Ted Matz. Yeah. I'm trying or to think of what Frank. <laughs> or what, two Franks. What chunky lizard that the legend Godzilla is actually based on? Oh, it's, it's the Galapagos iguana. Ah, okay. There you go. No. Not only oh, yeah. not only do they look very much like Godzilla, but they also shoot blood out of their eyes. Ooh. Mm. That's, that's their defensive tactic. That's hardcore right there. Mm -hmm. I bet they think they're badass until an octopus slaps them in the face. That seems kind of emo to me. <laughs> now, the real question is, is it going to be just two hours of a monkey and lizard hitting each other? I, I hope so. 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 <laughs> I know be. it's not, but I it'll wish. Be, it. It'll be 15 minutes of them fighting in an hour and a half long movie. Um, and it'll be a lot of human subplots, but that is every Godzilla movie ever I, made. It, That's true. And, and people who say, I just want to see them fight for an hour and a half. No, you don't. That would be boring. That would be boring to watch. I would like to see them fight three times, ten to fifteen minutes. <laughs> that that's but, yeah. okay. Perfect. You just gotta break it up. 
you gotta break it up. Why otherwise, you, um... otherwise they fight so long it turns into the the uh, the, the Godzilla versus Megalon where he's doing the, the flying jump kicks with the tail <laughs> dragging on the ground. Yes. So. Oh, you mean the dopest Godzilla? Yes. It is one of the dopest Godzillas. Ooh, will they have a Jet Jaguar in this movie? I hope so, please. Jet Jaguar. So, so why don't the um, so why didn't Kong answer the Alpha Call in the King of the Monsters? Uh, he did, but he was like swimming the whole time, so he didn't yeah. actually make it to a, a, a landmass oh, so before like the, the end Godzilla of the thing. movies. <laughs> the what? So like the older Godzilla movies, where Godzilla's swimming towards <laughs> the fight the oh. whole time. I mean, King of the Monsters. I mean, Godzilla did spend about half the movie swimming or going through a magic portal. Not magic portal, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Earth portals. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm very just excited. Very excited that these these are happening again. Yeah. I hope no. they keep making them to the point oh. where eventually they get cheesy. I don't care. I hope we finally get a Toho Godzilla out of this sooner or later. Like. I love Shin Godzilla, but they've just put everything at Toho on hold until Legends um, rental of their copyright expires, I guess. Wait, what's what's uh, what are you talking about now? Toho, the company that owns the Japanese. Okay. Yeah. That's also like, oh, there's two different Godzillas? Oh, there's way more than two. <laughs> if you count the, the shitty American one from 1999. We don't. Yeah. We don't. But there's Toho, and then there's um, what's the other Japanese company that had it for a Shit. minute? No, no. Um, or it's always been Toho, but it was different directors. Because the first 16 Godzilla movies that I have are by one director, and then in the 80s, it went yeah, to somebody like, else for a minute. Every time one of their eras breaks for like five to ten years, then they just pick up again with like a whole new uh, continuity for the most part, and. Mm -hmm. A directorial style and monster style but yeah oh, shin godzilla was fucking dope yeah i'm not sure how they're gonna make a sequel to it but fuck it i'll watch it yeah <laughs> the uh the animated godzilla on netflix is also pretty entertaining um it is good yeah i know. wasn't aware that it existed it's like three movies length three yeah, movies yeah it's mm -hmm. like three part series mm -hmm. they put it their movie length they're good. Yeah. You sure do like Godzilla. Yeah. We do. <laughs> hey. It's been a while. Next surprise guest on Noob Show. I'm getting Godzilla on. Okay, I'm good. Sure. I want to be a part of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder if Terrence, you got a Godzilla puppet? Uh, I, I can make one. <laughs> <laughs> that anybody, would be great. Can anybody do the Godzilla scream? No. Oh, no, I'm not a cello. Oh, I can't do it. I was asking. Okay, okay. I was just thought, I thought yeah. you were setting yourself up, and I just was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna just turn my take my head. <laughs> yeah, I didn't build uh, this it. platform for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really I'm... what it is. It's a cello. Ah. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> In other news, this episode should release the week that. We will also be in doing Nerd Bowl. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. And I'm excited you notice there's a little bit different scenery behind me here. I see it. The creation of the dungeon there. is happening. I oh, won, by the way. This, I know this is recording this now, but I just want to know I won. Oh, this is releasing God. before hey, Nerd Bowl, so. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. win. No, but it's a team. It's a team thing. Like you're, you're the team. You know. <laughs> That's yeah. why you've already lost. Well, yeah. Who would have thought? Noob is the I win D and D guy. Yeah, uh, I win. <laughs> well, okay, sneak attack, uh, flurry of blows. <laughs> <laughs> so Dungeons and Dragons is normally not a game about winning per se. It's about telling a story and character growth. And I mean, you win combats and whatnot, but it's about it's, murder and treasure. Don't listen to him. It is murder and treasure. <laughs> murder and treasure. But for five years now, this will be the fifth year. Hey, God, yeah. it will. Yeah. Um, right. That's because I could give, well, because I give two shits about Super Bowl, I don't need to see millionaires um, battle each other over a game that I used to play in the front yard of a trailer park. Um, <laughs> give them weapons, though. Yeah, well, th then I'd watch. Yeah, I'd watch yeah. Blood Bowl if it was real. Dude, there's a there's a show or a, there's the Knights fighting now that they have. Yeah, yeah when I show, one of those. One of the rules in that is if they die, you win. So. 
What? That's one of the rules. Yeah, they go it's fucking hard too. What is? Where? 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 Where is the show? In, in Russia, oh, they have a show of we'll real combat. It's two guys in full plate what? armor with blunted swords, and they just walk right up in in a boxing ring, basically, and just start wailing on each other with a blunted sword. Well, I mean, they can choose their armor and their weapons. It doesn't have to be a sword or plate mail. You could go in there with chain mail and an axe if you think that that'll be benefit you better. So the one I saw yesterday was two dudes with uh, axes and shields, but yeah. it, it, it ended with them basically one dude power slamming the other one into the fucking sidewalk. And they awesome. were just on the street. One of the best ones I saw was the dude tripped the other guy <laughs> and then just started shield, shield bashing him into the ground. Yeah. So wow, that's what Nerd so. Bowl is. We're all going to dress up in armor. Uh, we'll be in my front yard until the cops show up. <laughs> and they will show up quickly. No, it's Walter, oh, bro. We got to get 30 minutes. wants to be on my cheer squad on the sidelines, just let me know. I've got sign-up <laughs> sheets on the, the, the Tritus page. But the reason I've been through five of these and still alive. So. <laughs> but we've talked about Nerd Bowl on this show on and off the whole time this show has been happening. Yeah. Um, it's coming up soon. So instead of watching Super Bowl, I get people together. The first year I had two different teams show up and they both ran an adventure at the same time. And then it turned into building our buddy Ryan Brown found cases of Dwarven Forge dungeons in a buddy's attic. And he's been, he's letting me have it now for like four years. It's still his, but we use it every year. Um, build these big dungeons. Live. I have two different or sometimes three different teams show up and we do uh whoever gets through the dungeon the fastest and fights the thing at the end is the quote unquote winner of nerd bowl <laughs> what, have, what have the prize has been <laughs> a uh, vhs that's why we play a vhs copy of uh, mortal Kombat, an animated episode Ooh. um another vhs copy of i think it was like uh oh who was the wild america guy uh, uh, uh marty uh, marty stouffer marty stouffer <laughs> yeah wild <laughs> america it was a vhs copy of that I, normally stickers of me on the toilet um, those are good yeah i have prizes for this year too uh, uh -oh. <laughs> i'll show one of them all right yeah also tyler to see them because i'm usually I'm usually too drunk by the end to remember what the prizes were but... tyler because i know you're watching woo pro pro <laughs> Uh, whoop whoop! Tommy trying to suck up to uh, uh, one of the uh, Patreon hey. people. <laughs> He's our Patreon. It's not calling sucking up. It's calling. It's called pandering. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. I, I, can't, I, haven't, I, I don't know what y'all say, but it's probably <laughs> true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so John Punt, who did our stickers, Ryan did the logo. John Punt did the stickers for us. He called me up the other day and he made some fun stickers and he gave me some of them. Oh fuck yeah! Oh. <laughs> I like that. Oh, one. I want to win. So I have a, I have a shredder and I have a, a Cobra Commander giant sticker um, to give out to some MVPs. Yeah, and maybe a VHS copy of something random out of the case. That's the tradition. Hell yeah! Mazes and monsters. No, please. <laughs> Finally, Titanic on two VHS tapes. <laughs> But because of COVID, we're keeping the numbers a little smaller this year. It'll just be us. Um, and it just so happens the two people who are our Patreon subscribers uh, at this point, uh, I know personally, so they are also going to be coming. And Tyler. they will be the leaders of two teams formed out of this group you see here in front of you now. And I'm going to run them through this massive dungeon. We're going to eat a bunch of food like it's Super Bowl. Um... We've got banana pudding on, on deck. We've got ham sliders. We've got uh, fried chicken, chicken wings, jalapeno poppers, mushrooms. My nipples are hard eggs. just thinking about it. I'm, I'm going to try and get about uh, two to two and a half dozen boiled eggs. Oh, Deviled eggs. That'll do. Yeah. Well, that'll do. <laughs> if you showed up with just a bag of boiled eggs, you can fuck right off. 
Dude, yeah. I'm coming from I'm coming from Florida. I'm gonna have to show up with two bags of boiled eggs so that I can make them deviled in your kitchen. That's hilarious. Yeah. Show Carly. Boiled eggs to a show Carly. I was working with a girl who said her grandmother asked her to do the eggs for Thanksgiving, and she just showed up with a dozen raw eggs. And her grandmother just like she said she just closed her eyes and shook her head in shame. That's when you <laughs> sure, open up and go, oh, yep, these are wrong, your huh? whore mother. Your whore mother. That's, I'd like to make a wild. special request of the egg deviler. Mm -hmm. Could mm -hmm. you extra devil some of them? Like, I don't want no bland deviled eggs. I want some. Yeah. Yeah. Extra devil them all. Fuck mm -hmm. up our table. So, I'll be here, there. I'll, I'll be supervising. Here's some transparency. <laughs> I've never made deviled eggs. Okay. Well, you, that's oh, okay. Oh, hey, okay. that's okay. Oh, yeah. Got it's it, easy. I'll supervise but I know how to make food taste good. So. I've heard you describe your meals. I'm skeptic. Yeah. <laughs> Those are meals for me. When I make food for other people, I don't think about the calorie intake. I don't think about the. You show up with deviled eggs and an empty thing of yogurt. <laughs> Again, you can fuck right <laughs> off. No, everybody, everybody, no one's going to have a gastric distress on my account. Yeah. <laughs> These deviled eggs are going to make oh, you man. regular. Your, your house only has one bathroom, doesn't it? Oh, God. It's got a backyard. <laughs> me, and Franks, me and Franks have been friends for about five years, and I just listened to, to the second episode of Noob Show, and the sauce why does it you always have to tell people how you like putting unflavored yogurt in your sauces <laughs> sour cream? you've told me that several times uh, no i know that i i tell you because i know how upset it makes you it's not sour cream it makes it sour sour cream. cream it doesn't taste like sour it's cream. fucking wrong right yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, okay. gross. Wrong. it's gross it's you're a gross person <laughs> even in the even in noobs up the show I heard Terrence go, you can't tell a difference. And then somebody said, it's just less creamy. That's why you want the fucking sour cream. <laughs> it's the cream sour part. I don't find cream. it less creamy. I find it's it slight, a touch more bitter and that's it. Ugh, gross. That's just getting old. And that is why I tell people every chance I get because of that response. Mm. It, it amuses me to watch y'all's discomfort. That You just summed up my entire life. <laughs> and that's why I don't like you because we're too much alike. Oh, oh you both go to Maybe. you both go to grade schools and stare at the stare at the playground. The same mats oh. from different alternate hey. universes. Yes. <laughs> I'm watching kids, you know. I'm Matt on the top lines. has been married three times and divorced twice and is tiny and weak. Matt on the bottom has never been married and is big and strong. They yeah, both annoy a, people with their he, techniques. <laughs> Franks is your archetypical Sigma male. <laughs> the, uh, but never that mind. Was a joke for him. But, uh, one oh, drinks too much. Yeah. One likes psychedelics. One oh, too They much. would make a 90s <laughs> sitcom out of you two. Yeah. yeah. It would be really <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Now that me and Franks are a couple. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, <laughs> something else that's going to be interesting tonight is combat. Hey, you know what's going to happen tonight? <laughs> Without a doubt, it's combat. Yeah, because so. we're starting off well, that's right. right in it. With combat. Yeah. Right we've already, in it. We've already rolled initiatives. Well, there was a lot of interest from our um, Patreon and, and commenters on various places on the internet that we should re-roll initiative. I remember seeing earlier today. Yes, I, I, that. I, I only oh, had I didn't get to look at that. only had one pencil and I, I broke it. <laughs> so I can't I can't rewrite it. Oh shit. <laughs> so um well. Nim, you're still gonna be dead last. Yeah. <laughs> With the two. I mean I rolled a two on that. That was a yeah. horrible. You deserve to. Yeah. <laughs> Can you're we get on with it? I have to skip the first round. <clears throat> Wake me when you're sober. So there's yeah. a couple of there's a couple of funny things here about how initiative panned out. Yeah. Last week when you guys walked into this room, magical energies were holding three duagar. Uh, enthralled enthralled and as y'all came into this room the magical energies touched each of you and gave you visions um, it was a bad touch it was a bad touch just like the bloodhound gang but better or worse I like bloodhound gang I don't know where I was going with that um, 
then you all rolled initiatives and then i realized due to technical issues that, that all the monsters were on my laptop and not on my computer so instead of it being That's an right. hour and 45 minute long episode we left it on a cliffhanger <laughs> big old stiff I'll with that. two of you failed the wheel save as you went into the room and are stunned uh, for this first round the two people that are stunned this round rolled the best initiatives <laughs> which means the way it's going to go up. is stunned stunned bad guys <laughs> the rest of you so uh let's go to the map to the map show me that motherfucking map i went oh. down to the map time sorry Don't do it stop sorry. it, stop it frank stop just it. let it go quick somebody do the jurassic park theme <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. It's gone now. It's out of my head. No, it's not gone. That's there forever. <laughs> Let's see. This is not a surprise round, right? No, it's not a surprise round. So as you walked into the room, the magical energies disperse, touching all of you. What I was also going to get to is that because that happened, the magical energies that were holding these in place weakened, and they began to come too as you guys came into the room. We rolled initiatives, and they go as follows. Akage, Dorian, ah. the bad guys, Razbad, Sonder, Amon, and then Nim. So eventually we'll get the nail. Are we ready to uh, are we ready to get into this this nasty <clears throat> combat? I do yes, have we can. a few next episode. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> I do have a few questions. Okay. Um, can you take mental actions when you're stunned? No actions. Or will I simply be flat footed until the next turn? Yes. Flat footed till the next turn. Copy that. Yeah. Then for my turn, I am stunned. Yes. Yes. Grab again. Oh, no, um, I'm just saying which I'm also doing. means uh, you have dropped your weapon. Oh. Uh, when you get stunned, no. you dropped whatever you're holding. That's right. Was it really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't get hit often, so. We'll see if we can fix that. No. <clears throat> Dorian. Um, you you <laughs> also had pulled your weapons out, but were stunned. Right. And dropped or dropped. I remember you pulled your your sword right before you made the uh, the check. Right, um, uh, I so drool as a free action. Let's get into it here. Razbad, you had walked up towards the um, Jurgar there to the that's the closest. But however, he snaps out of it just before you're close enough to do your your attack. So. You see him do a quick motion with his hands. Give me a perception check, actually, Razbad. <clears throat> okay. 26. Okay, as you're getting close, you see he, he comes to out of whatever trance this magical powers was putting him into. Uh, he does a quick motion, magical technique with one hand, and he begins reaching for a, um, I believe it is a crossbow on his back there. It is indeed a crossbow. But then he vanishes before your eyes. Ooh, that's spooky. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. This um, is dangerous. Just stay near him. That way, it attacks you and drops invisibility. Um, this other one at the top here. As it comes to, you see it reach into a, a large pouch. You hear the clink and clank of bobbles as it pulls out um, a, a glass cylinder. And it is going to throw it at the closest person would be Amon there. Oh, you do it. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> Now I'm flat. I can't even take immediate actions. Correct. You cannot. Making sure. Now, 
However, what's the range on that thrown bobble? Because he's even not a square. He's only got hit a five, I think, right? I don't know. It's a good. It's a good point. I thought I had enough there. But I was mistaken. The range is twenty, not thirty. So it moves closer and does that. <clears throat> now is that is he going into like lower territory right there? Yeah, he kind of steps down. Okay, I was making sure that was what that was before. Yeah, it's not a much. It's it's not so much of a dip to do anything different game mechanically wise. Okay. Now, if you were up where these glass things are and down on the floor, it would be different. Okay. Are you are you telling me this is like a nineteen seventies? Sunken living room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. It's there for fashion and it's also just annoying. And those are lava lamps. Mm-hmm. Conversation pits, I yeah, believe, is yeah. what they were called. Those or are awesome. Rumpus room. <laughs> Nim starts taking his clothes off. Hey, there's fondue in the center. That's what that's what rumpus rooms were for. Rumpusing. Rumpusing. <laughs> Rumps. That's where all your key parties happen. <laughs> However, uh, it throws the thing. Does a 14 hit your flat-footed touch AC? Uh, it Touch AC or flat-footed? Both. Your flat-footed yes. touch so your, AC. So your touch AC is... Should be 10. Yeah. My touch AC is 13. So minus dex. Still hits. Yeah, no, it hits, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes good. people have magical deflection bonuses or stuff that can that can bump that up. I didn't think you did, but I just wanted to double check. Yeah, I also never seen the t- a flat footed touch AC. I thought it was either touch or flat footed. It's or very AC. rare, but it, it's you know when you're flat footed, you you are denied your dex to AC. That means you're also denied your dex to touch AC. Huh. Ooh, for max damage, what of is... eight fire damage. No, all right. Then I need uh, Rasbad to give me a reflex save. Okay, I will definitely try. I roll a seven, so nine. Did I make it? You did not make it. Oh, man. So you will take the splash of three. Okay, and then... Would my cursed ring be triggered by that? <laughs> it definitely will. You gotta give him a Benny. He's already instead, got one. Instead, I will give him minimum damage of one. That's because you rolled it. That's a It is. <laughs> the dice. The dice felt uh, bad for Kevin and his cursed ring. The gods do, but you me, don't. Me, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the gods may have pity, but I do not. Do not. <laughs> and I will prove that I don't care. Follow an action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 30. I think the stunned guys are about to take a bomb to the face. (laughs) This guy comes up and he does a weird foot stomp and a hand gesture and he throws a A Hadouken. A Hadouken at you. (laughs) Pop Hadouken! I'm pretty sure this has to hit touch as well, but just let me double check. Yes. Alrighty. Pretty diverse crew they've that is got a, here. Yeah, that is a 15 to hit your touch AC, Kevin. Uh, my touch is 12, so yes. All right. So 13 damage from the, uh, the blast. Okay. And your ring does another one damage. <laughs> oh, bitch. You may beg your gods for mercy, but you will get none from me. And then, Razbad, it is your go. He mumbled to himself, stunned. Uh, I was was cosplaying token. Correct me if I'm misremembering, but I believe you said that my hammer is not impact. It is, I get in large person three times a day. Yeah. Okay. And, and on a critical hit, you shrink your opponent. Which I think is just hilarious. <laughs> I am... Get small state. 
I'm going to activate that feature of the hammer. And then... <laughs> oh, God, he's huge. And huge. Hideous. <laughs> Never looked at Razbad before. You are rough looking. Yeah, I'm missing an eye. Your loincloth doesn't really I believe I can move to there. <laughs> he described his face as looking like a dirt road. That's uh, <laughs> uh that's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna move to where? I'm oh, gonna charge that. Well, I mean what activate is the... it's a standard action to become enlarged. Oh, okay. Very well. Then I will simply uh, move action to, to get here? that guy's face. Yes. Okay. And that will be my... Oh, uh, free action. I'm going to call out a judgment to uh, add damage to my attacks. Okay. <laughs> so a lot going on for Razbad there. Sonder, it is your go. Um let's see here. I am going to attempt to touch a flame, the one to my north. Okay. Uh and I'm not gonna get it. That's a two on the die. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it, that, their touch AC is that low. What's that give you, though? Six? No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, didn't, I didn't think your bonus was that high. No. Uh, any movement from Sonder? Uh, no, I think she's going to stay where she's at for the time being. Let me just go ahead and sure you guys are all properly in squares because i'm like right in front of the door correct yeah yeah all right i'm on i would like to move here oh, and as part as my oh, as you kind of vanished on me there but, oh, but sorry is it there right there okay and as part of my free action i'm going to heal myself with my blessing and fervor okay as part of my move so I get three points back, okay. and then I'm going to attempt to trip the guy up to my north. Okie dokie. And then that is a 12 against CMD. Or CM, yeah, CMD. His uh, CMD. Here, against... 12, that's not good. Yeah, that doesn't do it. Yeah, I rolled a six plus a six. <laughs> Math. You know I healed myself. Hey, you healed yourself. That's something at least. Yep. More than I've done. We got we got to the end of the round pretty quick, Nim. Okay, um, <clears throat> I can do a five foot step and still do a four round action, correct? That you can. All right, so five foot step me here. <laughs> Completely out of line of sight. And gotcha. then I will um, start casting a spell. Uh, you begin summoning, I take it. Yeah, and then does uh, <clears throat> as a free action, I would like to glance down the hallway to my south just uh, with dark vision to make sure i don't see yeah, dark dark vision not needed there was the um the room there that y'all could kind of see because there was yeah. still lights uh, burning in there yeah you I don't see anything spooky. coming i get spooky when i see darkness there okay that's my go akage you are um what do we say it was uh dazzled for four rounds but you are your vision fades. Uh, you come out of the what you were seeing. You're still a little foggy-headed from uh, what the magical energy showed you, but you can see that a lot of action has happened in the room. It is your go. And I noticed that I dropped my glaive. Yeah. So I want to do a I cool picky, Jackie picky. Chan maneuver to kick it back up into my hand. Okay. And I roll it back on my foot, kick it up. So that's a move action, I assume. Hmm. Give me an acrobatics check. Done. Hmm. Maybe. That's an 11 on the dice plus six. So 17. 
I'll say that was your swift. Dope. Um, move, Akage. Oh, minus one from dazed. Uh, it doesn't work. You have to spend the move action. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get to that square, and I should be able to attack the bomb chucker. <laughs> 18 on the dice, plus 8. That's 26. Let me check his AC. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> that's 13 damage. Ooh. Brutal blow. <laughs> uh-huh, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dorian. <clears throat> Dorian collects himself after his strange visions. Um, seeing that the combat is still going on, I will begin moving towards... Uh, Don't forget your sword. Shut up. I'm <laughs> moving towards uh, this area as quickly as I can. Uh, while I'm going, I yank the little uh, nearly invisible wire I have attached to my sheath towards myself, swing around and grab my sword, short sword as it flies in front of me. Very <laughs> Jubei Kimagawa. Now, if you move all the way past, that would provoke. I know. I okay. was going to... Can I attempt to make a tumble? Um, You'd have to move at half speed. When no, you all right. No, just let him take it. Fuck it. I don't know if he has anything out to take an attack of opportunity with, if we're being yeah. honest. Should be. Because uh, he was throwing bombs... Oh, what's that in his offhand? Actually, he can, yes. All right. All offhand attack, though, so chances of hitting are pretty low, especially when you roll a three on the die. So hey. he swings with the, he swings offhandedly with his mace, uh, missing you entirely. <laughs> Masse. All right, and I attack him from the rear area. <laughs> Funny. Uh, for a 20, oh, wait, um, three. 23? Let's count him a penalty. Okay. That's still a hit. Oh, Are right. you counting the flanking? I am counting the flank. No, no, I wasn't counting the flanking until 25. But um, that's not a hit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Very weird AC. He's got to hit strange. again. That'd be a cool mechanic. If you go too high, you also miss. <laughs> Would it, though? <laughs> 14 damage. Um, as you as you run past this guy, you can see when he swung at you with his uh, attack of opportunity, he was already bleeding profusely from the damage dealt by uh, Yonakage, and you were able to just re-stab him in that same wound and open it up further. He crumples <laughs> over uh, dead dead. Good. I'm done. Okay. That means there's only two bad guys that can go now. Oh, crap, I forgot about the other one. <laughs> the invisible one? Yeah. Oh, right. probably right behind me. I'm about to get in that. <laughs> beaten the head. <laughs> uh, I don't think Akage or um, Dorian even know about him. We oh. were stunned. Mm. Uh, that you're not, like, blind. So no, no, but stunned. we he did, he did say we were still trapped in the vision while we're stunned so mm -hmm. yeah. um rasbad the one that you kind of got up to so you can be within reach takes just a guarded step back actually do i want to do that oh you do it cast your level. he does not take a guarded step back he will attempt Ooh. to cast defensively Okay. If I took a guarded step back, I'm going to tell you, he's going to try and cast invisibility. If he takes a guarded step back, then you can deduce you know where he's at. But if I cast defensively, then I can move anywhere I want it. Well, peek behind the DM screen right there. Lose the spell. Lose the spell. It's, uh, for him, that's a close. It's not 19 a. 19 is the DC, I believe. That's not a gimme. Let's see. Let's see, he rolled that on the die. He needed. It's weird when they have these innate abilities figuring out what their caster level is. Okay, so it's his level. Ooh, I needed this 15 and I got this 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was close. So, yes, he, can, he does the same little hand motions you saw the other one do. And 
Whoop. And then we'll go to the next person's turn. Razbad. All right, then. You know there's still at least two enemies in this room. I will hold my action till to attack anyone that drops their invisibility by attack. Okay. Holding watch. Hold. Ready to move. Sonder. Hmm. I feel like Sonder's going to do the same thing. Okay. Sonder will also hold. Hmm. Amon? So I have an idea. I have create water, and it says I'm allowed to create a downpour. If I was to do a downpour in, like, this general area, could it possibly show someone who's invisible by having water dripping all over them? I think you could create so many gallons per level. It is two gallons of water per level, so that's two, four, six, eight. I will let you, yeah, you could do a, a four by f- mm, yeah, four. by four? A, or do six. a four by four square if you want to. All right. Um, yeah. Creative. Yeah. I mean, I got, I'm going to go with it right. One, two, try right there. Okay. Uh, match up where my invisible ones are with where that is. All right. Give me a perception check. Uh, perception, perception. Raz bad too. Since it's close. Uh, Three. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Raz bad and Sonder can do it because they're both holding. I have 13 I got a on mine. 15 as well. I got 18 on the die, so that is 23. Okay, Amon and Razbad, you're not sure. Sonder, you definitely did not see any shapes under the water uh, when it poured out from the, when it magically teleported in. Uh, but you're, you're more than confident that there's not anybody standing in that square. Amon, give yourself a Benny. That's probably one of the best uses of, of Create Water I've seen. I like it. I will not squander this one. This is uh, a non-squandering <laughs> Benny. <laughs> That's another I like, question. I did. I like that. Uh, what's with this room in the middle? Is that reminiscent to the protection from evil spell? Uh, you can give it a... Uh, it, when you have time, obviously. Uh, you mm -hmm. just cast. You do the perception. You still have a move, but I'd say there's too much heat of the, heat of the moment uh, to take the time to investigate that. All right, then I will just move... I will move. Hmm, sorry, I'm trying to think where to move. I'll just move here behind Razbad. Okay. I gotta change my color now. Well, is that a a rune on the floor? Or is it a globe? Is it three dimensional or two dimensional? It's like one dimensional painted. It's just glowing. Okay. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, 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 cool. Come cool. on. No. Would it be? I mean, it would be similar to what the what they saw in uh, Father Solomon's house. Or no? Would they? I mean, they, would they recognize it from there? I mean, I feel like that's why he's asking me because it looks similar. It's yeah. the same asset. I know it's the same asset, but it made me think um, of it. But yeah, when, when when things slow down and you could actually investigate it, I could tell you more about it. Okay. But Nim, it's your turn, and I don't think you're anywhere close enough to the combat to see what they're talking about. So. <laughs> no, but my wolf will, uh, a celestial wolf will appear right there. All right, all right. This is what I was waiting on. Objects. I had my tokens set up. That's right. I've got your list of summoned creatures. Yep. That wolf should be in there. It is. You put him. Bloop. Yeah. Three. I have to have one site where, right. where it comes out. So I'll put him there, but he will not see any immediate dangers. I don't think they have uh, blind sight. I think they do have scent. They have scent. Mm hmm. Um, so I, I guess it could do a perception check. It can, uh, yeah. But I believe it has a set of like, what, 30 feet or so, though? Plus five scent, plus four when tracking by scent, but this would just be. I think the range of scent, though, is like, it depends on the, there's there's no wind in here. So I think it's like a set, like if you're within 30 feet of something. Yeah, I, you can I'll pinpoint be honest, it I didn't, square. I didn't look up that particular ability, but um. I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost positive. Uh, it's like a th with, if you're within 30 feet of an enemy, you can use scent to, to figure out what square it's in. Then you can attack that square. 
uh, but it would have obviously it would have um, a, plus a total four, total cover where it's like a fifty so, percent missed chance or something like that. But it, not, it might know where to go, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, it might it, give it a direction. It versus show just the standing square. there growling. Hey, uh, anyway. I rolled a 19, so that gives me a 24. Uh, for your perception? For the scent perception, yeah. yeah. Uh, there are obviously no enemies in the within 30 feet of it right now. Okay. Cool. Um, it will... Um, so it, can take, it can take just a move action. That would have been a standard to sniff around. Yeah. So it'll move kind of central to, to people that it feels are its allies. Okay. Moves into That'll the be let's go. All right. I will move here. Oh, look at Nim going into the end of the room. I so will that's... become invi- I will become invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Self preservation first. And then I'll move there. Man, you didn't take a note out of Toker's boat and cast it, and then move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can cast it and then move. This isn't like other editions where you can move half your and then cast yep. and then move. But I for flavor, foot, I got you. I have a 10 foot shift. So that's what I, I got. Oh, the swift action. yeah. Okay. Even that's better. what that last move is that I can do. And that way it thinks I'm there. Uh, that's my thinking. Nice put your, move. Put your X back up there. No, no we're, not we're, that one. No, that's where the one. thinks you are. Oh. No, that's where oh, his I character see. is. Uh, when we go back to the top of the round, the people that held uh, didn't do anything. So, Akage. Uh, okay, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Akage is going to move. Um, sorry, I didn't have my annotate ready because I suck. Yeah, it's to true. the middle here. You need your fucking yogurt salsa. You're hopping into the circle. <laughs> yep, I am standing in the middle of the circle so that I'm brightly lit. Come forth, you denizens of the dark. <laughs> Show yourselves so that we may fight. Give me a will save. Dope. <laughs> yeah, that's a three. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> Four. Four. As you step into the circle, the uh, vision that you saw before comes back full force. Um, full you, force. you are, um, as you stepped into this, this magical energy, you can only tell that maybe this is uh, the trap that triggered and the branching energies are all originating from this center source of power. Um, you are stunned and will drop your, your glaive again as the, your, your mother killing herself and your honor replays <laughs> over and over in your head. Sorry, bud. Well, that answers Boy, that. you are your own worst enemy <laughs> there. Kage. Do- Dorian. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> no, I just like saying your name. No, it is a nice name. Um, I let's like see. it. Got a classy ring to it. Uh, a sister named Delorean? No. <laughs> I am going to uh, take a look around and see if there's anything that would give away the position of an invisible opponent. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about like d- dust being disturbed on the ground. I'm looking for like I don't know, uh, air currents and mo- in the motes of dust, the light being reflected off of it. I'm looking for literally anything that might give away their position. Okay. Um, let's see. That is 28. Let's we'll see. Uh, Probably won't invisi- Invisibility just gives a bonus, basically, to, pers- or to stealth. Yeah, but it's a really high bonus. It's a really high bonus. It is a it's a it's a twenty. Um, twenty if they're moving, forty if they're not. <laughs> yeah, and they they moved. Um. So yeah, you can. Uh, it's really hard because all the, the this room looks like it was ransacked 
before the trap went off. You see a lot of foot traffic. Mm -hmm. um, the walls, it's not pictured in here, but like where you're standing, those are a bunch of, those racks there are full of wands and rods. Are they? Um, yes. But you can kind of see uh, to the east, there's the one glowy, the big glowy light. Mm. It's the orb that's pulsing a, a good bit. And just south of that, you can make out there's a disturbance that the, the pulses kind of warp around. And with that perception check, it seems it doesn't seem like the one that vanished because it seems too big for that. Like around here? Yes. Okay. Then I uh, shout out as I, and I run that way. There, by the orb! And I point with my sword as I move by 30 feet. Okay. Uh, it just so happens that when you shout that, it is its go. The creature that vanished before has oh, grown in size. That's um, awesome. It vanished its first round and then used its innate ability to a large person the second round. So now that crossbow that it's shooting at you is quite a bit bigger. Oh, well, move, move me closer. All right. Oh, come yeah, on. Are you moving Bring to? it on. All right, put it next there. Right there. Yeah. Do me a favor. Hit him with get a critical on your hit, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your chance, Kevin. You have okay. you have it. Um, hmm. Well, it depends so, on what the other one does, too. So what it was going to do, it is still going to do... The, the biggest target in the room, it feels, is going to be the easiest one to hit, even though Dorian is closer. It was kind of taking aim. Um, on its turn there. And it fires a, a now larger bolt at Razbad. I'm the easiest target? Well, because yeah, you're yeah, bigger. <laughs> Your right, AC goes down when you get bigger. Mine Your is head grew two three to times. my AC overall. Correct? Yeah, he got a 19 to hit, which I think still misses you, right? Only because I'm bigger, it hits. Ah! <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> 21 right. is my AC normally. Oh, that's right. Okay, yep. So he made so, a smart call. So when you said he was taking aim, do you mean he was studying his, tar his target? Uh... Weren't you getting on to somebody about metagaming last week? Frank? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a huge <laughs> fucking hypocrite. I, I admit it. Shame. Shame. Uh, that oh, is shit. only uh, four damage from the bolt, but your ring gives you another <laughs> four damage. Oh, my Jesus. God. That thing maxes out at four. Yeah. At least it's not ability damage. I don't know. Kevin's taking a lot of damage so far this combat. <laughs> uh, luckily, I've built my character to take a lot of damage. <laughs> it's a good thing you're the one that got that ring, then. No, because if you would have got that ring when you died, it wouldn't have, you. We wouldn't have put it back on you. Yeah, so, hindsight is. Or if uh, Matt had got it. His character died, and wouldn't he wouldn't have put it on? An old hindsight. <clears throat> Not worth it for him to do that. So, so interesting to catch little snippets of your brain process. Well, thought thought process, brain process is no term. Brain so he's just gonna move. I was gonna have him enlarge, but his innate. Uh, uh, ability doesn't go up in damage if he enlarges, so he would just mm. be easier to hit. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and and uh, yeah, sorry, Kevin. <laughs> We're going for you. Well, uh, could I make an argument that Akage is stunned and in the way? You I could. don't want to get. I don't want to get hit, but I'm just saying. You could make that argument, but you are not a threat because you were stunned and stuck mm. in a magical trap. Fair point. Um, Dorian is a little closer, but Kevin is still the biggest, meanest-looking target on the board right now. And yep. I, I, I'm 
put in mind these guys were going to take like they're not going to play they're playing to kill so mm-hmm. they're going for the first person who looks the most wounded then they'll go to the next and uh kevin is definitely the most wounded right now how you looking on hit points there buddy i have 17 out of my 39 i started this uh you combat are, with you are not safe <laughs> you're hurting <laughs> oh right now is not a lot dude I don't like lot. those groans. <laughs> wait, wait. So he's throwing. What is he? He's crossbowing again. No, no. This is the it's other guy who's one. shooting his um his kinetic kineticist bolt. Ooh, oh, Jesus, kineticist. Oh, kineticist. Yes, interesting. It's a, it's a fun Duergar pre-build that was in my Hero Lab monsters, and I was like, I want to play with that guy. Um, which I also say when I'm on Grinder from time to time, but um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh that's a seventeen to hit your touch uh, AC. My touch, yeah, it's twelve. What, what's your touch AC, Kevin? Oh twelve. See, I can't even help you. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, this 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 could uh this could put you down. Hmm, not when I roll D sixes like that. It's still it's still a good bit of damage. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Thirteen. Oof. Okay, and the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin just wants to die. Man. No, I do not. He it would be a good it. way to get that ring off the finger. Yeah. Three. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Jumping, Jiminy. That one snuck up on two me. Two hit points. Two, yeah. The two. One or two hit points. Gross. Kevin in serious trouble. Bad guys. Went. Razbad, your go. Oh. Oh. I take many deep breaths and then I say a prayer to Desna as I lay my hand across my chest <laughs> and cast Cure Moderate Wounds. I don't. Moderate. Damn. And dice don't fail me now. They will. I rolled two seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, nice. That's what's up. So, um, a- after doing that, um, <laughs> I thought he froze. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I was like, after doing I that, I want to reach a Kage and if I can, and drag him out of the circle. You could reach in to grab a Kage, because you're large. I mean, you're, you're basically right yeah. next to him. Give me a will save. Oh, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Desna, protect me! <laughs> uh, 17. Roll the 10 plus 7. As you reach in and grab a Kage, the magical energies course through your your hand as well, but you are mentally prepared to stop its bombardment. However, that will be after a standard to heal, and you've got a hold of him. Um, that'll be the end of your turn. Okay, no problem. Uh, because you're already grappling him, as a move action on your next turn, you can pull him out. Okay, perfect. Sonder. All right. So seeing Red ba- Razbad looking hurt, Sonder uh, heals Razbad for 13 points of that. Or, I think okay. you got to walk up and touch him, though. Oh, do I? Yes, yeah, touch spell for you. Oh, good cure light. Sh- yeah, no, cure moderate, but fuck. Yeah, that is touched. That's why I wasn't going to do that. Yeah, you actually got to touch that creepy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You We've already have... covered. I'm an ugly guy. Oh, yeah, I can get to him. You right? do have enough have movement to step you. right behind okay. him on, or well, right underneath him on. I'm going to do that, and that's 13 points of healing for you, Razbat. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Spicy has like a, uh, a moment of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I feel her <laughs> squirreling around in there. Calm down. Calm down. I'll be okay. Smack. Squirrel? I thought she was a stretch rat. Stretch rat. He's ferreting around in there. 
I guess. Stretch ratting. Stretch rat. Ferrets have a private life too. Don't do it. <laughs> Stretch rat. You realize ferrets are in the same family of animals as skunks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they yeah. don't stink like them. Yeah, they kind of. They do. can. Yeah, they, they can spray just like a skunk. So Ooh. can you. <laughs> no, I don't have scent glands. But you do have butt water. <laughs> and Only of, when I eat Taco Bell. <laughs> speaking of butt water, I'm on. It's your turn. Uh, uh, I would like to move here. Because that's... No, wait, hold on. 5, 10, 15. Actually, I would like to move here. Not uh, through Not through it, no. Okay. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. And now, is this the crossbow he holding, is that all wood or is there metal on that? He's not holding the crossbow. No, no, not the one in front of me, the one to the right. Oh. Um, I'll go 50-50 on it. Yeah. Or high or low? Uh, high. Low. It is all wood. Well, the then, arrowheads are metal. Well, then I will not cast Burning Disarm, and I will attempt to trip the guy in front of me. Okay. Good situational awareness there, Amon. You look and then act. Uh, 21 like against CMD. Mm, that is probably going to get that. Let's see if it gets the... His CMD specifically versus trip is 20. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. So he is prone. Fall the fuck down, bitch. Dwarfy guy. Nim. All right, so my wolf is going to move here and attack this guy. Okay. Hey, it's, got, it's got like a 50-foot movement, yeah? 50-foot, yeah. 50-foot, so he got a 21 to hit. And I'm using a ranged weapon, so no attacks of opportunity for reach. And a 21 will hit. All right, so it does uh, seven damage, and then... Probably not. No, it's yeah. I rolled shit for the trip, but so it does <laughs> that, and then um, Nim. Did I? Um, I mean, can I do a knowledge check to kind of recognize what the? I mean, do I recognize this guy up here in the north as a caster? Um, not an arcane caster. I just want to say, what would uh, what knowledge check would that be to, be able to uh, recognize you still what do, he was doing? You still do knowledge arcane, I think. Nope, I do not know. Okay. So I will. Uh, since check. I don't know, I will move here, and um, actually take that back. I'm going to stay where I was. Let me just check the range on something real. That's thirty-five. Yeah, so I've got to move. We'll move here. And then I need a fort save, which is terrible probably against those guys, but I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Are you casting an attack spell? I am, so I'll be visible now. Okay. And you were casting what at who? I am casting Lip Stitch at the guy on the, that's prone over there. Okay, and there's no ranged touch. It's just straight fortitude save from me? Fortitude save for you. That sounds like an all or nothing. It is. That is not a psychic spell, I'm assuming. Nope. But it is a spell or spell like ability. Bip stitch. Interesting. Uh, 21. Oof. Yeah, no, you made it. Mm, nothing happens. <laughs> so, Duragar, much like dwarves, uh, get the plus two bonuses versus spells, and this dude's pretty fort heavy. So. Yeah, I figured that. That's why I did the knowledge check first, but I mean, that's what he would have done. Yeah, yeah. He was a caster, so it works. It still wasn't a gimme. I could have failed it. What was yeah. the DC on it? 18. Yeah. So it's. Uh, uh, I would have had to roll like an 8 or less. I rolled like a 12, so. A little over, a little, a little less than 50% chance there, so. Yeah. Not bad. Not a, not a, cool, a bad go. Yeah. It's a fun spell. That's Akage. Cool. Uh, question. You are stunned. I am still stunned. There's not a duration on that. I am just perpetually stunned while I'm stunned. In you were stunned for one round. One and, round. And, and then you need to give me a will save again now. Okay, cool. 
16 on the die, so 17. You will only be stunned for this round. Groovy. Dorian. Um, let's see. I want to... Or wait. Um, you can feel the large grasp of a monster holding your arm about to drag you out of this thing, and you slowly come back to reality. Dorian. I, gra- I can't reach down and grab my glaive, can I? No. All right. All right. Dorian's going to move right here. And then I'm going to use combat expertise to make an attack on him. Okay. What does that make him flat-footed or... No, it just give up oh, my AC uh, for this round. Okay. I just take penalties. Uh, so I'll raise it by two. Uh, but, I'm f- well, I don't know. I'll see. Mm, I'm going to down three. I don't think 13 gets him, though. Because he's large, a 13 hits his AC exactly. Oh, my God. For real? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was just trying to stay alive until I could faint him next round. <laughs> Let's see. Um, that's nine damage. And that is another dead Durgar. <laughs> All right. Bip. Yeah, not, not, not a lot of HP on these guys. And when they go big, they're a lot easier to hit. So that's why I kept the other dude... Uh, the the mini boss of the room small because we could just hit him too easy <laughs> but it's his go and he's prone hmm standing will provoke from the whip guy shooting will provoke from the whip guy this is my whole this is the whole character yeah no i know i've, I've played your character before and it's uh it's kind of annoying <laughs> being on the other end of it i am so sorry <laughs> terrence that i played that whip anti-paladin for basically three years yeah well why did you think there were so many flying enemies toward the end uh, yeah well. <laughs> well this guy is incorporeal now oh no um oh <laughs> He will um He will just take the provoke and throw a blast at you. So take your attack of opportunity there. Uh is he does he have the pouch on him? This isn't the guy that was throwing the alchemist you killed. This dude is is hurling um kineticist blast. So they're not spells, they are just his attack. He doesn't have oh, to okay, pass, okay. I thought it was. But so it's basically not... like if he was shooting a crossbow and within reach, so he still provokes by doing it. Okay, so he's not fire. he's not holding anything. Okay, that's no. what I was trying to figure out. Okay, so my attack of opportunity. Let me just pull up the dice roller. No, you do not get to disarm this guy of his actual arms. I rolled a uh, non-natural twenty. Oh, that'll hit. And then two damage. Okay, that um. Can't you? Can you trip on an attack of opportunity? Yes, and disarm. No, those are the only two uh, combat maneuvers maneuvers you can do uh, uh, during an attack of opportunity. Okay, so you did two damage. Yeah, I don't do a lot of damage. That's why I was like, I'm going to trip people. (laughs) I'll throw the two on a D6. Um, Give me a perception check. All right, that is a plus three. So that gives me a six. Okay. Looks like you whipped the shit out of him as far as you can tell. All right. Do, 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 do. And then he is going to attempt to hit you. You notice that this time the orb that he, that he brings up in his hands has heat pulsating off of it. Does a 14 hit your touch AC? It does, but I will use an immediate action to cast Stone Wall to give me... Or is that not Stone I'm on? Huh? It is Stone you're on, but are you a... Uh, that's a racial spell. I thought we talked about that. Yeah, you said I could take it. Did I? You did. Oh. A racial spell is generally it's not something you can't take. It's just something that's not learned in typical ways. Yeah. Spending time in yarn would probably do that. Okay, yeah. If, I mean, if I said you could have it, you I thought did. I said you. I thought I said you couldn't, but okay. Because you I was drunk. You might have. It was also character creation, which was back before August. That's when we started this. <laughs> so it's been a minute. 
And that gives you, uh, what, a plus two to your AC? Plus four, I believe. Plus four, but just against that one attack, but that's the only one he can do, so... And it puts up a one, uh, you know, a slab. <laughs> gives me a plus four to... No, sorry. I can't use it because it gives me a plus four to armor class, not touch uh, AC. Correct? Is it an armor bonus? I'm going to say because you don't know the spell, you can't use it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to use it until now. Every... But no, it says it says armor class, and that's touch AC. Yeah. Okay. Which it would bypass that anyway. Yeah. So yeah, you can hit me. Hit him. I feel like it gives you anyhow. Whatever. It's a spell I... that I, I wanted to use for a long time, but it was a racial spell. That's why like... you let me use it because you're yeah. like I wanted to use it. Feels like it should be like a shield bonus or something. It should, but it's not. Yeah. It helps with reflex saves too. That's yeah, the well, other thing it does. Yeah, yeah. You could do but, it when somebody does a fireball to duck behind it. Mm -hmm. um, like a tower shield. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it basically summons a tower shield. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, mean, it's the first level spell, and I only got like two of those or four first level spells. Which should be. From what I read, a, with like racial. Go ahead. Just it take your be hit. A shield bonus. Either way, Plus, you take 12 damage. We're moving on. Okay, you took 12 you. damage. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, that's middling for this guy. Um, I, I don't know why I said that out loud. Give me a... Uh... <laughs> oh. Forget what I said about burning. I'm still kind of learning this as I'm playing it. The, uh, that's you fine. Can, you can burn points to increase things. It doesn't give it the burn effect. Oh, we're so using just... it... Kineticist? Yeah. Oh, kineticist. That's, that's an awesome class. Yeah, it seems fun. It's a con based caster. Yeah. What? I yeah, plan on. A... I want to play Let's that go. on a long campaign, though. You become a bender from Avatar, essentially. Pretty much. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's that you take that damage, and we will move on to Razbad. All right, I will um, pull Akage from the circle, um, setting him safely, yes, there. Okay. And then take a move action, and I want to go directly. Um, Watching your hand really close to the thing, like you're trying to do a touch screen, is yeah tickling me. Because I have the the pen I have in my hand has a uh, stylus stylus toucher on it. Let me and... right there. <laughs> yeah, right. I made a. Yeah. It's like he doesn't know how computers work. I can't <laughs> see where he's pointing. You okay, Grandpa? <laughs> it's like a dog. They just well, look at your finger, not where you're a pointing. Couple months ago, I was on a, my tablet. Yeah, pretty nice. I, I'm. Still, there we go. That's where I want to be. Those four squares. I want to move and right what, next to him. I'm avoiding the circle. And that's one move action for you. Yes, I have a move of forty. That's right. You move right on up in there. I trip him. But I want to be right next to him, so if he makes any move, I can make my attack of opportunity and smack him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what y'all are doing. Not yeah, even giving this guy a chance. Winning. No. <laughs> Sonder. I don't speak his language. Well, I speak Dwarven. Yeah, none of us actually talk. tried. Yeah, they Kevin, last us. episode you said I'm going in the room to slit their throats because they're helpless. What they're language helpless. do they they're speak? They're evil. They're an evil race. Whoa. They Ooh, are easy. Drow. Easy, like, buddy. Uh, easy half orc. <laughs> they're not drow. They're duogar. Yeah, they're duogar. They're the dark. They're dark the evil dwarves. evil dwarves, basically. Yeah. Yeah. They have a, a super evil. Uh, what is I mean, this is a homebrew them. game, Kevin, so you're making a lot of assumptions about how I have portrayed uh, Duogar in this setting. They also attacked us first. That was the easiest way to say. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're an evil race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, can they understand us? Oh, well, they can understand uh, me. Probably, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I mean, if you did, y'all did the, the checks on them before. They're, they're a humanoid. 
Um, they, they are basically they're evil dwarves. So you know, um, I th- I don't think they have a special language. Under common, yeah, under common. Jinx, you owe me a kiss. Mean. Fuck off. Bitches. He already gave you a Benny. <laughs> I'll suck him. Yeah. <laughs> you got any more of them bennies? I suck your dick. I suck your. <laughs> I do, but no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate the That's offer, right. but I will politely decline. <laughs> it was just a short time ago that you could get a Vorpal blade for that. But, I mean, the economy is just the economy is in shambles. <laughs> COVID has really <laughs> fucked up the D and D economy. At least it's not a hay-based economy. <laughs> <laughs> that song stuck in my head. Um, <laughs> so my turn, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Sorry, oh, yeah. sorry that you had to listen to Noob <laughs> talk about sucking dick, and it got you distracted. So anyway, <laughs> um, Saunders gonna look at the one remaining thing and say, "Uh, no more of that spell stuff from you, and I will require a will save." Please. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that is a spell like ability, I'm assuming. But his will save. Ooh. Uh, Found your weakness. 10. Yes! DC was 14. <laughs> <laughs> what is the spell? So um, the spell is forbid action, and I, uh, I forbid it to cast, cannot cast spells or use spell like abilities. So no more kineticist blasts for one round. Okay. Um, the Kinesis Blast is more just a normal attack, but I will, I'll let that but slide. Is there a weird c- class? It's a spell-like ability, It's a spell-like right? ability. I don't think it is. It is. It is. It's, it's SP. Well, either way, it's SP, don't SP, attack. SP, it's... SP. No, it's not oh, yeah, don't yeah, attack. Yeah, I specifically said don't cast because I don't want it going invisible again either. None of that malarkey. But it gets, it gets to, there, if I remember correctly, the spell is either... You can there forbid attack, their cast, movement or action or forbid an attack action. It's attack, cast, communicate, draw, or move. Oh, she's, reading, she's reading the spell. No, no. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I so, misremembered. So that's why I, just I specifically did the cast. I don't remember well. <laughs> so that hopefully, like, you know, it can't do, it can't attack or cast because its attack is a spell like ability. So, right. Liberty Wham Wham Wazzle. So yeah. you're telling it it can't cast spells or it can't attack? It, it cannot cast. Okay, cool. Which means it also cannot use a spell-like ability. Right, I'm with so you. So it could attack in a different way. It's Earth Blast is a spell-like ability. That's, it is. That's what I couldn't remember yeah. if it was spell-like or supernatural, but they did make it spell-like. They did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This doesn't, one round. This doesn't prevent his butt water attack, though. But does not. What's yeah. butt water? <laughs> Oh, it stinks. <laughs> Why would you ever ask that out loud? Like, I mean, think about it. Just all you have to do is think about it for two seconds. I mean... Two but seconds too long. Water. I thought that we were talking about the ferret, and then... <laughs> it's a butt water. This is, uh, what is That's going to be your not... next character's name, is ferret <laughs> butt water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me write that down. That should be the name of this episode. Uh, ferret butt, butt water. water. Wouldn't it be more of a butt mist, though? We're going to get all kind of weird fetishes watching this uh, one. <laughs> Nim, it is Fine. your go. Or wait, oh, Sandra, did you want any movement or anything? Um, <laughs> let's see. Movement-wise is... Uh... Not super nice. Well, you have a to move. sleepy Akage right in front of you. Yeah, I'm just going to stay where I'm at for the moment. Where is... Who is this at the bottom right? That is Dorian. Dorian. Okay. Okay. Um. Wait, I'm just thinking. Hang on a second. Dorian's over there, and then Akage or Aman is up front, and he just took damage, and I'm not going all the way up there. Okay, so cool. I'm staying right where I'm at by Akage. Damn. All right, so the wolf is going to just run over there and overshoot his target a little bit and end up being right there as he attacks. That will provoke. I ride the wolf over. You cool with that provoking? Yeah, absolutely. Because I do have an unarmed attack. <laughs> That's he, doesn't, yeah. he, he doesn't care about the safety of summoned creatures. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's built for that. I might hit. It's okay. uh, minus four. No, no. 
It's no minus four for being prone, right? Mm-hmm. Not yeah. to melee. Yes. Oh, yes to melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes to melee. Yeah. No to range. That's what it was. If you can shoot range from prone, so you don't get the minus four penalty for laying down with a crossbow. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so and I don't believe you can shoot a bow prone. That only gives... So he goes from a plus five to hit to a plus one. He rolls an 18. So 19 to hit your wolf. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Look out for this possible six damage. It's five. Non-lethal damage. All right. I'm still a threat. Does an 11, <laughs> 11 hit? 11 does not hit. Yeah, oh, wait. He, he's prone. Yeah. He's prone. I rolled... He's prone and don't forget flanking. And oh, that's right. So I have a and you're flanking. To hit. So yeah, this this could happen. Let's let's uh, prone takes. Does smite evil give you a plus to hit? Um, yes. if you if you use smite evil. Oh, it does. Okay. So attack. Oh, it gives me charisma rolls. So attack rolls, which is yeah. So that's another two. So that is. Uh, well, you had to you have declare to call that. that before you roll. Yeah. yeah. Plus the swift, but okay. Yeah, you still have to declare it before you I'll, roll because I'll make sure you I'll only say it get next a. Time certain number per day so if you don't oh, hit no, then you waste oh, it. it summons don't but i mean they're only there for six rounds they got it all right so what did what you get to hit hits. with the wolf so 13 without the smite yeah 13 to hit his ac is normally 16 minus four you hit you hit the 12. Yeah. oh I, I rolled a five that gives me a um nine Damage? All right, not damage. Oh, okay, wait, I have to check and see if you can trip him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say that same joke, Terry. <laughs> is that, I don't know. Um, I think everybody else. The, uh, I, I mean, I, I was going to see. I mean, dogs like to dig holes. I don't know if I could bury him a little bit. I don't know. You cannot. <laughs> is Nim going to do anything? Nim is not. He's just uh, watchful and, and he actually takes a seat and he kind of sits down a little bit because he's tired from All doing right. three spells in one combat. Good talk. I think we can get through this combat before the episode ends. Akage. I'm stunned. No, no, you were stunned for that round. And then you oh, will I'm... save, so you're not stunned now. You were I'm dazzled, dazzled for um, <laughs> five rounds. My glaive is in the circle. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Use your katana. Yeah, I mean, that katana is still a fantastic <laughs> weapon. I'm going to roll a percentile dice. If I'm <laughs> low, under 50, or uh, from... One to why fifty. Do, I'm why gonna do you attack. Do an intelligence check. Why don't yeah? Why don't you play your character instead of letting the dice play your character? Why don't y'all shut the fuck up and let me play how I want to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what we come for. That's a ninety-nine. What so I'm fuck? running toward the uh, the guy with my katana. All right. Okay. Draw my katana as I go. Do I have to hop up there? No, it's like I said, it's like a. a a foot or two, foot and a half step up. And I can't charge because I had to make that turn. And you had to draw your katana. And I had to draw my katana. Uh, 12 on the dice Don't plus 8. You're flanking with me. Am I? Or should be. You should be. I should I... go right there. You'd be flanking instead. Alright, then yeah. So 22 to hit. That'll hit. And I believe a katana is only a plus a or d8. I haven't equipped this in forever. And I'm using it two handed. So d8 plus seven, seven on the dice. So that's 14 damage. All right. He is still wiggling around, but he seems you, uh, very hurt. You give it that bonus you got from, um, from Raz upgrading that, right? Yeah, I added okay. that. Well, Hero Lab added it. Dorian. Uh, I will move to here and use my Ring of Far Strike to attack it. All right. And I have a twenty-one to get hit him. I was yeah. gonna make sure say so you make sure you put in your range penalties because he's in combat, but uh, that would still hit. Or wait. No, it, this, it's a melee attack at distance. It's, it's a spell. It's a. It's it doesn't make it count as a ranged attack, though. It's a melee attack. Okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Uh, but I only do six damage. All right. You did straight up make 
Jubei from Ninja Scroll. <laughs> you got the string on your sword. You can do the swipe attack from across the room. Well, <laughs> that was given to him, actually, in game. I know, but still, he's he's Jubei. Oh, yeah, I agree completely. It's the dope. game has made him Jubei. <laughs> I'm not wearing it a right. I'm not wearing a right spells. So I guess he will reach out and punch somebody. your knees, Razbad. Um. <laughs> yeah, come on, punch Razbad. That wolf is looking awful menacing at you. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a a, a Franks and roll randomly. One, two, three. <laughs> because sometimes you don't know what the character's going to do in that moment. And Akage, I rolled you. Heard it. <laughs> Get it, buddy. I, I demand Wait, a reroll. He, he's punching from the ground. So, so close to critting. <laughs> so close. But that's a, um, that is a 20. Yep. Damn. He's got a, he's a plus one to hit. Here comes your D3 plus three non-lethal. Five. Right in the crotch. Five non-lethal. Right in the biscuit. He tries to find a a way to to get past your armor and and get that crit. Get that crit in. I don't wear armor. Yeah, I was going to say, what armor? Since (laughs) uh, since uh, he can't seem to to access his powers right now, but it is Razbat's go. Come on, natural one. Yeah, just Gallagher this guy. It's just exploding oh, I'm like a mess. totally yeah, Gallaghering him. <laughs> you Gallaghering him? Does a 17 hit his prone AC. Oh, yeah. For, uh, for my right. free action, I put up a plastic sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Now you know how that spell works. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew a Gallagher joke. That's they're all bad. <laughs> There's fine. not yeah, any. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say at leading into me rolling this. Um, does he actually of... tell jokes? Or does I, he just, think so. I think he just smashes fruit and then walks no, no, off he, stage. No, no, he used to tell a lot of spelling humor. Oh, you know? really? He did yeah. a whole run of how messed up the English language is as far as spelling. Yeah. Two Sounds words that rhyme hilarious. spelled completely different. Yeah, we round robin it. Hold on, y'all. I got uh, one. Living in California is like living in a bowl of granola. What ain't fruits or nuts is flakes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cha-cha. Um, Cha-cha. Yeah, regardless of that, I do uh, 16 points of damage with my increased size right down on his skull. Squish it. This guy, which Shaman didn't notice earlier, has DR. Of two, oh. <laughs> he has nine hit points left. You obliterate him. <laughs> all right, now we're all melon crazy. Mash that watermelon. <laughs> if your knees were bent the other way, what would a chair look like, Gallagher? Uh, all right, guys, just, yeah. that yeah. was that the, was the newest episode, and I don't want to end it on a Gallagher joke. It's just the but, worst no. part of every yeah. dad joke. I yeah, think that bad. that's what's about to happen. Yeah. Wow. Thanks a lot, new. Yeah. You know what's you Gallagher? D&D. You know so, what's worse than um than Gallagher though? People who don't like and subscribe to our show. What's the deal? Come on, people. We're just sitting here desperately wanting your love and attention, and we need it badly. I mean, we've got an algorithm to exploit. Help us. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know what all that means. The algorithm. That's uh. It means our boss is a robot. Click yeah. the bell. Uh, word. Yeah. Click the bell. Click the bell. <laughs> if you My don't, don't forget the links below. We have other shows. We've got the new show with yeah, new episodes good. coming out weekly. Hopefully. We also have a five week show that's Patreon exclusive. That's for you, Josh and Tyler. Yep, that's you guys. <laughs> um, sexy, sexy supporters. <laughs> Two of them. Whoop whoop, Tyler. For now. Woof, woof. And if you. You, and if you're new to the show, just be just be warned. If you don't subscribe, I'll kill Kevin. 
Or if you do subscribe and you want me to kill Kevin, I'll still kill Kevin. You can if kill none of that happens, Kevin will still die. You can kill Kevin's character yourself with yeah. a donation of ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the only way I will die. His character. With, with that's what I meant. So many healers in this group. Thank you, Sonda, for topping me off back there. I really, I, I came after you this episode. I came yes, after you. You, you pulled through. I, I yeah. believe I just heard Kevin say, "Not even God could kill me." <laughs> did not say that's that, what it's fun. That's what it sounded like yeah, in these it headphones. Sounded like a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but, oh, not oh. in exactly that same scenario. You Kevin, can you... take my toes, but you can't take my life. <laughs> Your hubris is gonna doom us all. Um, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you yeah. next week. See you next week. See you next week.